Hi, welcome back to Dear Cyber Sue. Today we're gonna to talk about 15 minute makeover before a date. So a lot of people say no, they can't go, they get invited last minute to an event to, to, to a date, and they say they can't do it. There's no way they can get ready in 15 minutes. I'm telling you, you can, and I'm saying that you should never ever let go of an opportunity that knocks on your door that could be exciting. Don't sit there and think, oh, I can't do it. There's just no way. So I'm going to tell you what you can do here. So first of all, you don't have time to wash your hair, obviously. You've got 15 minutes. So you go and you plug in these hot rollers that you can get at a drugstore anywhere for $40, $50. You might even be able to get them cheaper. Plug them in. They take a few minutes to warm up. So you want to put do that as your priority number one, right? You also should always have in your closet three outfits that are ready to go for any occasion. So that you don't sit there and say, I can't go. I have no clothes. We all know that one, right? So first thing I want to show you is this outfit here. It's just like a, it's just a simple little dress style. You could wear leggings under it. You could even wear jeans under it, or you could wear bare legs if it's spring and just put a pair of flat shoes or a pair of boots on with it. And this little jacket here is cute. It looks sort of semi-dressy, but it's also casual. Okay, so that's a good outfit to have in your closet. I don't know how well you can see that. And then we have a sweater style dress. It's not too warm for spring, for autumn, sort of this gray color, it, it goes well. You can add a scarf, add necklace, jewelry to it, boots again, flat shoes. Something like this is great to have in your closet because it's just ready to go and it's sexy too, right? It's not all frumpy. Another thing, so if you're going out for the evening, say they decided, okay, you've got a last minute event to take you to like, um, I don't know, some kind of symphony thing and then a big dinner afterwards. This jumpsuit here, is so sexy and it's so cute. I got this at a consignment store, but it was brand new. Okay, consignment stores are your best friend. Go check them out and just have a couple of nice little outfits in your closet that are ready to go. And this you can wear all year long. And if it's cold winter, you can just put a nice little, um, you know, nice sweater over it or something like that and dress it up with a nice pair of pearls for fancy events. Or don't wear any pearls and just wear a pair of flat shoes. You can make this casual or dressy. Okay, so those things are great. And then something like this is perfect. It's a very classic, it's an Italian top. Again, I got it at a consignment store. And that you can wear with just leggings, bare legs, again, or maybe a nice heel, something like that. Okay, so those things are good to have in your closet. Of course, for summer, you're gonna wanna have maybe something more along this line with a nice pair of uh, pants or, or um, crop pants, that kind of thing. Okay, next thing, your rollers are heating up. You want to brush your skin. This is a natural br uh, bristle and it's got the long handle so that you can get your back, you can get all the way up your legs, all that kind of stuff. But just start, do your, do it just light all the way up like this. Always want to go upwards, do all around wherever you're going to be having your, your skin showing. And then you put a little bit of coconut oil on. I get this at Costco. It's like 25 bucks, but it lasts forever. And you just put a little light layer on because you don't want it all over your clothes, but it doesn't really leave a lot of marks unless you're wearing silk anyway. But put out just a light layer on so it gives a shimmer all over. And it makes your muscles kind of stand out too. It gives a sort of bit of a enhancement to them. That's why a lot of bodybuilders put all that on before they go and do a show because it shows off the muscle, enhances them, right? Okay, next thing. You don't have time to do a lot of makeup. You maybe don't want to do a lot of makeup. Maybe a bright lipstick for going out for the evening and maybe a little mascara. That might be all you want to do. Two seconds. This is MAC lipstick. It's I think it's called um, Chili. Uh, it's like 20 bucks. And this is uh, L'Oreal mascara, which is like $10, $10 in, the, in the liquor store. $10 in the drugstore. Okay, or you could do this. Put some eyelashes on. Or if you're smart and you want to think ahead, you could have extensions and just redo them, fill them every three weeks. It's a little more expensive, but it's kind of nice because you're always ready to go with your eyes. And all you need is a little bit of lipstick to go out the door. Okay, so now you've done all that, your curlers are in, you're running around putting your, your outfit on, and then two minutes later, you take out the rollers and you're ready to go. I'm telling you these little tricks here take no time at all and you're not going to be boring because you're ready and spontaneous which is what people like so you're going to be the one people call with last minute invites if they've got tickets to something then there somebody bails on them so anyway i just wanted to kind of do a different video and uh let you know how easy it is that you could be that fun date 
and you can go out last minute. And I'm not saying that you should go out last minute when a guy asks you at the last minute, but if somebody calls you up and says, hey, you want to go try that? You want to go do this? You can be spontaneous if you want to be. That's all you have to do. Anyway, thanks everyone for listening to Dear Cyber Sue. Please subscribe to my channel here on YouTube and check out my blog at cybersue.com for advice, my advice column and my blog posts. Thanks everyone. Bye-bye.